My name is Gogi Ndebo, uh, the national youth leader for the Nakenya Party Youth. This is a party that believes in young people, as you can see. Young people are, are, are leading this desk, which says a lot about the party in being able to believe in young people and what they can do, what they can offer, and not only what they can offer, but what they can bring out of the party. In terms of, of involving young people, even by looking at the party's leadership, it's easier to tell that the party believes in young people because we, you can see our deputy leader of the party is a young person, our secretary general is a young person. It is not only words, but action. So that it, it's not only saying that we, we want youth to be involved, but also showing through actions and also giving a chance to these young people to show what they have. One of the biggest uh, problems is an, uh, first unemployment, that is a major issue you cannot deny, but also there is also the issue of lack of value for education, because now you will see uh, there is devaluing of uh, those who have studied, maybe those who have achieved to up to the de degree level, where you see people who have studied, as, which is not by bad uh, a a anyway, but those who have studied at a lower level are more likely to get jobs easily than those who have studied maybe at a higher level, masters, what have you, degrees, what have you. There is lack of value for these people, which is a very wrong thing because we are we, we are uh, developing or maybe forming a group of people in our society who have the skills and who have the knowledge, but they do not have anywhere to, 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 to bring out that, and uh, an outlet to bring that uh, energy and the skills. Amani National Congress Party, ANC, was uh, formed in 2015 and uh, we went to our first general election in 2017. We managed to get 12 elected members of parliament and two senators and 47 members of county assembly. We are going to our second general election this year, 2022. And we are hoping that um, with the strides that the party has made, we will be able to get more elected leaders on the party ticket. Our party leader is uh, His Excellency Honorable Msalia Mdavadi. He is the youngest ever minister Kenya has ever had. He, will, he was appointed a minister for supplies and marketing when he was 29 years old. ANC generally is a party that uh, empowers youth. Our party structure has many youth in the party leadership. When it comes to nominations, I think it's not about what the party gives you, but it's about if you deserve it. We can't just go around nominating every youth who is in the party. There needs to be youth who are really focused, who are really willing to sell the agenda, who are going to be, who are not going to be a liability once they are nominated. So, so far, I think ANC has been able to nominate a youth lady, uh, Doris Matere in Kakamega. I almost forgot, Cleophas Malala is also a youth, he is a senator. So it's a, ANC is the most youth-friendly party in the country right now and that is one thing that we are grateful for because we have our spaces in ANC. We have a space in the table, in the decision-making table. It goes without a debate that the biggest challenge that the youth of this country have right now is uh, jobless, uh, lack of job opportunities. And uh, here with me I have the youth agenda, Musalia's youth agenda. If Kenya Kwanza becomes the government and if the people of Kenya bestow us with their votes then one of the biggest agenda of Musalia is half of the 22 cabinet slots in Musalia's government and Kenya Kwanza will go to the youth. That is almost 12 slots of the cabinet. There's also be a stand alone youth ministry. 
uh, the Kenya Kwanza government or Musalia's government will be able to create a, a standalone youth ministry where all affairs relating to the youth are going to be carried away. And I think that is just the tip of the iceberg. That is the beginning of it all. Once those platforms are provided, once we are given that table as youth of this country, I don't see why we'll still have to deal with the challenge of job creations. If we create almost a million jobs per year, 90% of our youth problems are going to be solved. In Waipa, we have a link called Young Waipa Democrat. Young Waipa Democrat is for youth, purely youth, below 35 years. We encourage the youth to come to Waipa. For example, I am a student, I'm still a student at the Technical University of Kenya, but already Waipa has accommodated me as a youth. So we create opportunities for youth. We encourage the youth also to vote so that uh, the next government is, will be formed by the youth. Because uh, at, as at the moment, we are the highly registered mem members and we have numbers. So as youth, we can come together and form the government and then uh, from there we work from there. The current problem maybe that is affecting Kenyans, all of us, is job opportunities. We are currently having the biggest numbers of unemployed youth. As Young Wiper Democrats, we are forming a league. In, in each ward, we have 18 youth that will represent the Wiper Democratic Movement Party. In that 18 ward, we'll be creating endless opportunities, and opportunities after opportunities for the youth. My name is Tatiana Mombi and I am vying for MCA Kilimani Award under the Kanu Party of course. See, if your political party is supporting you as a woman, then it should be easier for you to penetrate into an elected position. But if your party is then giving you the space as a woman, then it becomes difficult for you to even get to that level because then it leaves you the option of going independent and we know how people vote. As long as you don't have a charmer there, the chances of an independent going in compared to a person with a party, you know what the stakes are, yeah. yeah. Our party doesn't just talk, 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 there's actually action behind the talk. So if you visit our headquarters in Nairobi along Chania Avenue, the first space you will meet is a youth. And they're not there as a decoration, <laughs> they will actually serve you. The IT department is run by youth. Some of these new technological advancements are purely run by youth. There's no gap or anything, there's true communication between the two, which I find excellent because you find in other places there's no dialogue between the more mature crowd and the youth. So that's a big plus that the opportunities are there and they're given to them. It's not one old person sitting inside a youth space. Yeah. In regards to nominations, it's completely free and fair. It's yeah. There's a myriad of issues that are like affecting me, the youth. But I think the number one one is well, the number one one, in my opinion, is ignorance. We've come to a point where we just wait, wait, wait for someone to do something for us instead of actually taking a step towards it. Ignorance in the sense that opportunities are there but we're waiting for them to be presented to us. We're waiting for everything to be done for us. We're waiting to be employed. We're waiting to be educated when we can take the power. We have the energy, we have the knowledge, we have the technological advancement. So I think that's our number one problem, ignorance. Voting is not just a formality, it's you exercising your rights. It's you having the right to complain when the next five years aren't going how we'd want them to be. But staying home and not voting is simply saying, okay, whatever happens, happens. It's not taking the power that you wield into play. So register, 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 and vote for people who actually care for you. <laughs> yeah. My name is Kevin Kibrono. I'm a member of the UDA party, Youth League. The youth are the people who are disparate about jobs. You see, job creation. People are, you know, like finishing the university and colleges, but they not get jobs. So as a party, we are championing for the rights of the youth, and we are also having a good plan as far as the youth issues are concerned. As a party, we are in a coalition known as Kenya, Kwanzaa. 
And one of the most driving ideals of this coalition is Uchumi Bora, Pesa Mfukoni, Kazi Ni Kazi Na Potom Up. So, you see, in Potom Up, we are basically trying to look for ways to empower the small and medium-sized enterprises, popularly known as SMEs. You see, through legislative framework, the reason why we advocate for the highest number of members of parliament in this particular election, in our Kenya Kwanzaa side, particularly as UDA party, is because we want to achieve bottom-up, to empower the small and medium-sized enterprises, Mamamboga, Yule Jamaa Boda Boda, Yule Jamaa Mkokoteni, Yule Jamaa Kusukuma Wilparo, Yule Akona Biashara Ndogo Ndogo, to empower them, because they are SMEs. And we can only empower them through some amendments in the financial acts, do, through doing legislative framework. On issues to do with youth affairs and women, we have the Youth League in the party, which I'm a member. It is under the stewardship of Andre Bomaina Karobia. We are focusing on more issues that are affecting youth in this country to do with joblessness. That's why in Potomac, it's our input as the youth. Our views were taken so that we can have that Potomac formulated. That is the ideal of the party. In women, we are championing for the women rights by trying to have good representation, whereby in, a, in an office of three, we're not be having more than two. Maybe in an office of five, we'll not be having more than three as guys of the same gender. And we also want to promote the constitution, give more empowerments to women. The elephant in the room for the case of the youth now is joblessness because guys are getting out of the university and colleges and there's no jobs in the field you see and that's why we have people committing suicide because they don't see any reason to live they are broke they don't have job so we are going to create true bottom up we are going to create self-employment so we're going to create more people in the economy we are going to create more jobs to satisfy this suit and lastly we need to have this election on 9th of August, we have peaceful election, free from violence, free from intimidation, free from blackmail. Let's maintain peace. It's the one poor duty as they use. That despite the fact that we differ with these other political parties and ideologies, our brotherhood as a nation will remain the same. My name is Benson Msungu. Um, I am the director for Youth Affairs for DM Party. And thank you for visiting our ODM stand to know much about our party ODM. One of the main things that ODM party did first was to create the ODM youth leadership structures that, that comes from uh, the polling station up to the national level. That in itself is giving youth voice in the party and uh, those structures are interlinked in the main party whereby every decision making of a, a organ of the party uh, youth are involved in decision making from the neck right from the neck of the party which is the top most decision making the ndc uh, the central committee that even has the party leader in youth are involved and are represented in all those structures so uh, since we are getting into uh, election period, whereby 2022 general election, we have the party sponsored um, uh, the formation of the man youth uh, young aspirants manual that was meant that is meant to help young people uh, be trained on matters politics, on how to win seats, on how to carry out themselves as candidates, and how to go through the party primaries. So that is one of the things that uh, the party had to do to ensure that at least we support our youth to take part in this election. The main issue, of course, uh, is uh, finances and resources. Most youths are not employed. Most youths, even if they are employed, I mean, they earn meager resources. So you see, as a youth, you cannot compete against a person who is a millionaire. 
you know so whatever little you have and that and that the little you have is to you you, you should use it to take care of your family uh, take care of your people but again there is an extra money that is needed for you to buy for an elective seat so that is an that is an impediment for a very long time uh, youth could not uh, get in a position to be elected because they have no money to talk to to get out there and tell the people that they want to vote from them